Now we're going to download Zotero. And it's going to do its thing here in the bottom left-hand corner. And I will fast forward to when that is done. So it is done here. I'm going to click on it. We're going to open it. It's extracting. So yes, I would like it to make changes on my device. I don't know if you can see this part, but I got a, um, a hazed out screen there. And I said yes, and now I'm hitting next. And I just want the standard version. And so I'm gonna hit next and then install and it's Installing it's fairly quick there and finish. So now I'm going to search for it. Oh, it's coming up um, So it, it's remembered my data. This is my library from my previous um, version uh, So I'm going to also search it just so you can see what it says So instead of standalone it used to say Zotero standalone now it just says desktop app so you can tell the difference, I think, that way. Um, if it hadn't remembered I'd, um, who I was or if this was your first time installing Zotero, Zotero period, um, you can go to Edit and Preferences and sync your login information here. It remembered me, I'm right there. Uh, but that will sync it with the web-based version slash your account through Zotero which um, you can create at any time uh, before or after installing, I would think. So there's my, um, my library. Now I'm going to go back to Chrome and see. So it didn't automatically install connectors. So instead of plugins, like what I was saying, they have connectors here. Uh, so it... That seems like something I'm going to have to install. So I'm just going to hit install Chrome. Add Zotero connector. Add, yes. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. It has been added to Chrome. So it so it's kicked me um, to my basic non-incognito browsers. And it's recognizing this article I have pulled up as an article. And so I could save to Zotero. You can see the little um, hover text there. Hit options when we right click on it. So we're going to update status, no authorize. And this is how we uh, sync. So when I first did this, I had to enter in my information my to sync um, here and then just accept the defaults, but it's remembering me because I just did it. Uh, so I don't have to do that. And and that's it. It should remember. And it's saying Zotero is currently available, so that's a good sign. So we're good for Chrome. But now back to this Firefox connector that you need to install it. Oh, I think I just did something wrong. Yeah, see, these were all my attempts last time. You need to copy and paste this into your Firefox browser or the browser you would like the connector to. Um, as you can see, this is what happened, what I had to do last time. So, um, oh, it's even recognizing what browser I'm in. So before it was Chrome here, and now it's a Firefox. So it recognizes the browser. That's neat. So I'm going to say install Firefox connector and then allow, and it adds, and OK. And so now that is there. Hmm. Let's make sure that we're synced. We're going to go to our add-ons, and there it is. Let's see, options, authorize. So this looks just like the Chrome one. Um, they look a lot the same. So be, it does remember that I just visited this website, so it remembers my credentials, so it's not making me enter the main in again, it's just making me reauthorize. So yay, so now let's test it out on, let's say, uh, this book review of the refrigerator monologues. So 
It's taking it a minute or two to recognize what it is. Oh, I hit the Z. So yeah, so now it's treating it as um, an article or maybe a web page. I'm not sure what the icon is. So it's saving to my library. I just hit it. So let's see if it did. It's taking its time there. Oh, yep, yeah, book review the refrigerator monologues right there. So we know that it works. So the tutorials that I've already made um, from installation forward are still relevant because so much is the same, um, it seems. It's just that Firefox won't have the built-in half screen for your library. It's got to be this window here. Um, but otherwise, the, the information in the tutorials could largely be relevant. I'm not sure about the Word plugin. Uh, that will be another video. But please feel free to reach out or comment below on this video. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or if I did something wrong uh, and you have a Zotero tip for, you, for the rest of us, that would be helpful. So um, thank you and I hope this helps.